Yo, good morning, Commanders. Before I go any further, if you do enjoy these briefings, because we have gone over this, I think this has been gone over twice or three times now with the live streams between me and Smash. But if you do like this, these videos, and I will continue doing them if I get so many likes, I'm not going to tell you how many, but give it a thumbs up so I know I'm doing something good. I think this this that deserves another visit. Um, we kind of shit on it a little bit when we uh, did the live stream last week. So I, I just want to go through it again. It's the... Sector Breach event briefing, basically. And this is April 2024, Sector Breach. We should all know, basically, what's going to happen with this. The Sector Breach starts today at 9, uh, 19th at 10 a.m. PDT. Ends April 23rd at 10 a.m. PDT. I think that's Tuesday. Let me just double check for you guys. 23rd is the Tuesday, yes. Um, description, Shark is cloning technology is being used on player bases, creating rogue player bases. And it's up to the sector commanders to push them out. Players will hit will hit PVE bases that are copies of player bases with the assault platoon in order to earn sector breach XP in a sector breach store. Right, I'm going to put this out there. I don't think these bases are going to be the same as last month's or the months before. I think we're going to have a, a tougher time this this month or this week or the next couple of weeks. The next couple of months, sorry, because it doesn't fall weekly. Um, purely for the fact is this this actual unit, if you look at it on paper, it looks like a very good unit. Whether that transfer transfers over to actual gameplay is that is yet to be seen. But I looking at the numbers is very good. So that's why the reason why I'm doing the video again, just to refresh your mind. Right, how does it work? You use your units to play through the general or conqueror set to earn sector breach XP with the assault platoon option. And the assault platoons, bear with me. Basically, I just want to show you how to set them up because I get asked this several times every every event. You've got to put your PvP units, so you get all, delete all these from here. You go to the Assault and you place all your PvP units in there. You can only place legendary units, PvP units, into here to be able to play the Sector Breach. So hopefully that's got you worked that out. Um, sets can be completed in any order. Oh, where am I? How does it work? How does it work? Use your... Yep, I've got that part done. Set, sets can be completed in any order and pay out a bonus XP cash. The Conqueror set will test your might, but will pay out more XP than the general set. Choose a set that best fits your power level. You can hit the targets multiple times and wins will count towards future set completions. So you won't be a, won't be penalised for hitting the target again. Hang on a sec, guys. I just want to blow my nose. Sorry for that. Right, general set one and two pays out 5,500. Uh, 5, general three pays out 10,000. And on completion of, of any, in, in any order, you'll get a 40,000 bonus. So what I generally do, hang on, let me get through the Conqueror set. Conqueror set one and two pays out 17,000. Conqueror three pays out 30,000. The bonus is 100,000. What I normally do is I normally pick the hardest base out the lot. So it's generally gem, uh, Conqueror three, but sometimes... Kicks, I get it slightly wrong, and it might be a Conqueror 2, for instance. Um, I will do a bunch of the Conqueror 3s. I'll do like 10, 20, 10, 15, 20 of them, maybe even a little bit more sometimes. And then I'll work my way backwards to the to the next hardest base, which could be a Conqueror 1 or a Conqueror 2. And I'll do the same amount, and then I'll do this Conqueror 1, for instance, and then I would get the bonus XP, the 100,000. You can hit as many times as you want, the Conquerors. You can do one base over and over and over and over again until you've got enough. For instance, if you haven't got any, not like bringers, the new one, Ogres, hit the General 1 or General 2. Normally one of these two is a very easy base that you can get done with Spartans or something like that. And then, and then you've got to hit enough of them to, to the point where you can get a couple of the... I would probably go with a newer unit but it could be a point that the the ogres actually do the general set on their own, which I'm hoping Kickside do because that's where we need to be right now is general set ogres. Even Conqueror set needs to be ogres, you know. But they are looking for repair time, guys. This is an event where they're looking for players to coin massively. Just be careful on what you what you spend in this game because the game right now, with the people coming to me about the uh, the script for the choppers. Albert Ross and Proteus, where it all spreads out in one hit. It's getting, it's massive in the game right now. Every single clan in the game's using it, or Alliance, should I say, is, is using that 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 cheat now. And it doesn't look like Kickside's going to fix it anytime too, soon. So yeah, 
I, that's what I do is I let the free base 10, 15, 20, 30, even 30 times and then work my way backwards. Um, legendary Enshin. This is what you've got to look at. The, the, the stats for this are fucking massive. Right, so it's a, a generation series three faction factionless type light light infantry weapon SMG and kata. The only thing I don't like about this is the katana. This this might destroy the unit. That katana, I prefer it to use an SMG over the uh, katana all day long. But I think as 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 things get close to it or they get close to too close to something, they're gonna go to the katana over the SMG which means they need to run right up to the unit to be able to kill it. Let's hope Kickside get that balance right where it works um, because there's a lot of units that didn't work. A Kiko comes to mind that was very poorly implemented into the game um, and it, she just she had an SMG and a, katan, a, a Katana and it was just a horrible unit. Let's, fingers crossed, Kickside get this right this time. Even if you look at the, there was another unit, um, it was a fucking unique let me load the game back up quick. Oh, no, I I've logged out. I can't remember what it's called, but you guys know what it is. That had a a weapon and then it used a, a sword. That was actually pretty good. But it was bugged to shit when we first got it. And we had a good two months of using it where it just wouldn't die. Oh, what's the I'm going to have to load the game up. Bear with me, guys. Do apologise. I can't remember what it was called. Gonna drive me nuts if I don't find out. By the way, so I've got to find out what was it called. It was a unique, uh, uh, an infantry unique. Claymore. It was the, the unit was busted for months, basically, and it wouldn't take any damage as long as you are. Uh, I can't remember how you actually activated it, but there was a, something you had to do to get it to work properly. And then you could just run through a base and just sword, sword fight all the buildings. I'm hoping this kind of works a little bit like that. I'm not saying it, it has to 100% work like that. Um, but we'll find out tonight, I guess. Weapon, is, uh, weapon tech is PvP. I don't understand that. That makes no sense. Um, targets grand and air SMG for the air. Oh, hang on. So the sword, it's got to use the sword to, to attack ground by the looks of it so the smg is only used for the air i'm hoping that's fault wrong information I i've got that wrong but that's what it sounds to me air smg and it doesn't say nothing about ground the damage type is burst katama and S sustain for smg size is 300 hit points or health points at level one is five fifty five million two hundred thousand. health points or hit points at le max level is seventy thousand four seventy million four hundred thousand. DPS at level 1. See, it should have two di separate DPSs. One for the sword and one for the actual weapon itself. Unless they've put them both exactly the same. But I wouldn't have thought so. I would have thought the... Yeah, I, I don't get it. It's another one I don't get with Kickstarter. So DPS at level 1 is 3,993,467. DPS at max level is 4,824,121. Max speed is 4. And then it's got in brackets 5. So I'm guessing it comes with a tech or a level that you get it to... Uh, five speed which isn't super fast by the way guys seven is is one of the the, the quicker units i think um cosmo was a seven i think i might be wrong though uh, max range is 500 that's for the smg i'm guessing it's not for the sword again it should have two separate ranges because obviously it's going to use a sword as well so there should be a range on the sword um, talent, talent. Uh, uh, this is level one talents. Why they don't just put that? Increases damage dealt and damage reduction by one percent per legendary series three unit. Minus ninety eight percent damage taken from mines. Reduces damage taken by a hundred thousand. Switch switches weapons based on target. See, that's what I'm worried about. I'm I'm worried about that sword. If they, if if it's ground that they're gonna, you can only have to use the sword and ground. I think that's going to be bad for the for the unit um and then obviously the smg for air it, yeah, it kind of makes no sense and by the way the picture if it's going to use two weapons it's got to have a strap on this gun that goes around its neck so it can tra transfer to the katana it doesn't so obviously it's going to drop its weapon in the battle so how the hell is it uh gonna have an smg after it picks up the katana 
Um, where are we? Level 10 gains one movement speed, so that's the extra speed. That gives it, what is it, five at level 10. 10% 10 chance to evade, 100%. That's a, new, that's a new thing they've put in, evade, 10%. So that can evade bullets, basically. So 10% 10, 10 of any bullets coming at it, it should evade. Uh, a, a chance to evade, 100% damage. Evade 100% of damage. Sorry, I'm misreading that. So it, it, it's got a chance to, to dodge a bullet, basically. But only 10% though. Level 20 reduces damage taken. Increases to... Uh, redu reduces damage taken. Increases to 200,000. 25% chance to evade damage. 100% of damage. That's quite a big jump. Let's hope this actually works when we get it into play. Because I know there's a lot of units out there that the, the tech still just don't work on it. Um... The Prometheus comes to mind. Both both the tech they've put out for the events doesn't work, and they've not not even bothered to look into it. Um, description after betraying their lord, their lord the Ensigns fight for the highest bidder. Having trained for a time under the Rurikai, they adapt their ability of Lady Akiko PvP platoon only or assault guys. Uh, basically the tech ronin armor effects reduces all damage taken by 40 percent which is massive if you put that up to with the 25 percent chance to evade you've got the the one percent damage reduction with series three units which this is a series three units um that's quite a big big jump you, you you're getting close to like 40 50 percent damage reduction or damage taken you got a two hundred thousand that less damage or flat damp line damage reduction. You got a twenty five percent chance to evade. That's quite big. Anyway, I can't pronounce the cartana the cartana. Fucking, I can't pronounce that. Right, effects increases damage done to vehicles and infantry by thirty percent. Again, it's quite a big jump. Used to be twenty or twenty five percent. It's now gone to thirty. Slot captain. <coughs> Banshido code effects gain 60% armor up for 20 seconds upon first taking damage in battle these things are going to run over our bases that's a lot of fucking different armor ups that they've got they've got 25% chance to evade they've got a 40% damage uh, damage taken by 40% and it doesn't say what against it's not air grand infantry buildings it looks like that's across the board then it's got a 25% ch chance to evade. Then it's got a 200 uh, flat damage reduction. Then it's got the um, damage dealt and damage reduction by 1% per legendary se series 3 unit. So uh, the more of them you've got in the platoon, the more chance, the less damage it should take. I think people are going flat. I really do. Big time. 20 seconds 60 percent and it's got a 25 percent evade then it's got a 40 percent damage reduction so that's 60 added to 40 for 20 seconds it shouldn't take any damage for 20 seconds holy shit and that's we've had a chance to evade the 200,000 armor up these things are going to be invincible they're going to be a lot of fun guys i would say if you can't do it find a base that you can do the general one or two and rinse and repeat because if you miss out on this you're going to miss out on a lot of fun in the game and it, it says something about walls as well where's the walls it ignores walls so if it shoots i think that's going to be if it if it uses the sword it's going to uh, ignore the walls so it's going to run right through walls like they're not there this is a game changer absolute 100 percent game changer uh, for PvP, and it, it looks like we might be having some fun in PvP once again. Jesus Christ, that's a lot of armor ups and damage reductions and evades and, and things like that. Right, Sector Breach awards legendary assault units that are incredibly powerful units that can only be deployed in PvP and assault platoons. Prizes legendary engine. 77,500 77, and you could buy 26 of them. Uh, legendary Inshin upgrade tokens, 100,000 and you can get them maxed. You can buy all 30 of them this event. Ronin armor, a legendary Inshin, 200,000, one time buy. 
the 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 katana in Shintech, 275,000 one time buy. Bushido code in Shintech again, 350,000. Warlord Jotun part is 12,500. Is that, that been reduced? Oh no, it's for, for one. 12,500, we could buy 82. I don't never buy the part or the four pipes. Always buy the 10 if you haven't got the unit. So ignore these two. But the four parts is 47,000, you'll need 20. Warlord Jotun part times 10 is 110,000. You'll need to buy that eight times. Uh, Warlord Jot Jotun upgrade token, I, I still need some, I think it's only level 10 for me at the minute, or maybe 15, I'm not sure. But the upgrade token is 125,000, it's 10 times buy. You can only get either up to level 10 or 15 or 20, depending on what level you've got it. Legendary Org, I'm not going to bother. Yeah, they're still worth getting. Legendary Org, 77,024 times buy. Org, upgrade token is 100,000. You can take them to level 30 as well. If you're far behind in this, guys, do as much as you can. When you stop enjoying the event, stop playing for a little while. Uh, Thick Hide is Legendary Org, tech 200,000. Uh, Deadly Bombardment is 275,000. These are all one time buys. And Vicious Appetite, Legendary Ord Tech, 350,000. I'm not going to bother reading for anything else here. Obviously, they're all the same. They're all the legendary heroes. Um, John is still a very good unit at the minute. Um, I would even say uh, Spartans are going to still be relevant. Ogres are going to be relevant. Jotun's going to be relevant. I think the unit we're going to, you're going to find we're going to use less of will be the Lightbringers. They're the weak link out of this lot, in my opinion. I'm not saying for 100%. They're just too too slow firing. Um, I think the Spartans are going to be still used in conjunction with these. Um, what he's called now? Engine. I think the Spartans, because of their, their fire speed, they're still going to be used in conjunction with the event engine. If any, any units that is going to disappear from the... The legendaries, it's in my opinion, it's going to be light bringers because of their slow fire rate. Obviously, you want the hero still. Some people say he's good, some people say he's done. I'm not a fan of him, but I do understand that the thousand range makes a massive difference for that unit. Um, put him with a bunch of these engines, activate his um, abilities. Engines running in on the base. Use the um, use the oh, what's he called? Lumos, the hit light bringer hero to. Target the CC, you should be good to fucking pick it off. Um, I think this is going to pick up the PvP for everyone. Uh, and that is the patch notes or the briefing for the upcoming skirmish. I'm a little bit excited for this one, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. If everything that Kicks are tell us here works as intended or is correctly put into place, these units are going to be fucking badass. Really badass. In the right hands, obviously. If, you, if you're just going to... Dump them in. Well, I'm guessing dumping them into the base is going to work as well. 26 of them, you spread them out over six, five turns even. Anyway, hopefully you have a good event. As I say, there's some. There's going to be all the videos out in the world for this event. Hopefully we get some that's uh, really good, and we can all enjoy it. Everyone in the game can enjoy it. I will try. I will try with my mini to um come up with a way up. The problem is, is mini ain't got nothing. It's got John and ten ten uh, Spartans, I think. But yeah, I'll try. I will try. Anyway, guys, take care. And we, I'll see you later on tonight for the live stream. Bye-bye, everyone.